we weren't trying to overthrow the government. We were just trying to say. Well, you weren't? I'm then why were so many people, people that were arrested said that's what they were there to do? Maybe they were coaxing saying that. You know how investigators work. They would coax into saying that so they could receive 20 plus years in prison? What's up, Rossi? How you doing? You probably don't Still. remember me. You got a lot of people, but I was on here with my friend Eugene. Um, I'm still for Trump. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's he may he may be an asshole, but he's he does a lot of good for the country and business wise. I'm still going with him. Can you tell me? Um, I don't know three things he did that were good. Gas. He actually caused gas prices to go up, and he bragged about it, too. No endless war. No war. Well, hold on. Well, let's, we'll, we'll go, let's go to the one. Donald Trump caused gas prices to go up. Are you sure it wasn't Bidenomics? No, I'm positive. Donald Trump signed the OPEC Plus deal. Biden, or Trump actually bragged about it recently. He's, he even posted on uh, Twitter at the time that he, he brokered this deal. It was a two-year deal that... Uh, reduced oil production by about 20%, 10 million barrels. And you didn't take that out of context? I mean, no, no, he, he, he brokered a two year deal to reduce oil. There's no way to take it out of context. Kushner bragged about it. Trump recently talked about it and even bragged about it on Twitter. All right. So suppose Biden does win in November. You think the next four years aren't going to be become socialist and no um so yeah what was There's the other things everywhere. what go ahead go ahead go ahead sorry what were what were the other things you said that trump did that were good how about endless war the, we didn't go to war we actually we were in the yeah well we didn't go we haven't gone to war under biden so we have we had the Trump amplify the war in UK, or the war in Yemen. He amplified the drone program. He's the direct cause of the Kurdish Turkish war. Uh, there was bombings going in Gaza when he was president as well. The list goes on. Do you think lower taxes for everybody would incite small businesses to do well? Or you know, let's think that. They want to tax the rich, but the rich don't pay taxes because they know how to get away with it. Right. I think they there should be loopholes. Loop, loopholes. I actually, I think there should be lower taxes for people on the bottom end and higher taxes for people on the high end. Like if not you're a multi. Flat Sorry. Like not a flat tax like Nader, if you remember, he was no flat, flat tax would bankrupt us. But we couldn't operate off the flat tax; it would bankrupt us. The problem is you have sub so many subsidies going to billionaires. And their corporations that people like you and I are paying higher taxes as a result. You know, we should be paying lower taxes. And actually, I would even be okay with paying higher taxes as long as that return was us getting, you know, uh, that return was us getting more stuff uh, as far as like social programs. And um, so, anyways, w what has Trump done that's good? Because you still haven't given me something. I don't know. You, you got to admit, he's kind of likable. <laughs> I've been to a rally. It, I, it was nothing but fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. I'll be. He's likable. Yeah. In what you don't fucking think world? You don't think he's charismatic? No. No, not even a little bit. At least somewhat yeah. relatable. I know he's rich, I, but mm. no, I don't think he's relatable or or charismatic at all. He's a petulant child. Are you saying man child? <laughs> no, this guy's kind of funny. Well, I mean, he kind of yeah. is, right? Like he he uses childish insults against people and childish names. All right, I agree. Maybe it's just to get views, you know. I I mean, I don't care. I don't think that's conduct that that someone with nuclear bombs should have. I think that if that was conduct of someone that was at a facility that turned those keys, you would ask for their removal. 
one hundred percent. And I, I think all yes, of us would ask for their removal if they were doing this degree of conduct. You're right; it's not proper conduct, but he's capable of discerning them both and keeping them separate. He's not gonna. So I mean, he. I don't think so. He's made more and more statements about he's promoted violence against people at this point, like numerous times. So I don't think this isn't, you know, he hasn't done it. I mean, let me be real with you. He hasn't done much for the country. I can name a handful of things that he did good, most of which he wasn't responsible for, and a lot of bad. I need to, I got to say, emphasize, January 6th, that wasn't violent. You you don't think Antifa was violent throughout the, the summer of love way back in 2020? What? Why do you always got to go to Antifa? Because you understand that Black Lives Matter and Antifa are not the same thing. So I would say that you had one protest at the Capitol that turned into the attempted overthrow of the United States government. Black Lives Matter, there was a few targets burned down. Big deal. We weren't trying to overthrow the government. We were just trying to say... Well, you weren't? I'm then why were so many people, people that were arrested said that's what they were there to do? Maybe they were coaxing saying that. You know how investigators work. They would coax into saying that so they could receive 20 plus years in prison? Yeah. Investigators do trickery all the time. Have you ever been in that room? I know. I, I, I know investigation and I know interrogation really well. And... I don't know how you get three separate groups and thousands of people to agree that they were trying to, or at least to have significant evidence that they were trying to commit insurrection. Like, I don't know how the interrogator inside a room makes them post that they're there to stop the certification uh, weeks earlier. That's not how it kind of doesn't work like that. May, I wasn't there on January 6th. I was in a nursing home watching it from CNN, actually. <laughs> I work maintenance in a nursing home. I've seen it on TV. So they were there so with the I intent. Would have, I would have been there. Oh, you said we. That's why people are asking. We? Oh. Yeah. Right, so January 6th was the violent attempt at overthrow the United States government. Why Why would you vote for that? Like, why would you vote for that? Because it's pretty clear what they were trying to do. I mean, it's not even, like, defendable. It's not ga You can't gaslight your way out of it. They were, they were clear. Donald Trump said, go fight like hell. He knew what was going on. He tried to get the election overthrown by calling representatives and telling them to stop the certification. The people that showed up talked about unaliving elected officials. They talked about... Uh, frequently online, uh, what they were going to do on January 6th. There's text correspondence between the Proud Boys, Patriot Front, the Oath Keepers. And then you even see the movie with Dinesh D'Souza. He was talking about the election fraud, and there was a lot yep, of... Yep, I, I reviewed it on I reviewed it on live, and it's a malarkey. Yeah, it's complete bunk. I went over the whole thing, yeah. You think he's a fraud, or he's just... He's on the Trump or D'Souza? Trump or D'Souza? D'Souza. Didn't D'Souza get literally a felony charges for fraud or something like that? He was pardoned by Trump? What the... Unfortunately, the live got mass reported and came down. So this is the end of the video. Okay, bye.